So you go to the car shop, the uh, mechanic, and you say, hey, I got this problem. And he says, all right, let me take a look at it. They look at it, and they tell you, all right, it's going to be 500 bucks to fix. While I was there, I noticed this thing. Now, I don't have to do it, but if I did do it, because I already have the pieces taken out, I'm already, I already got your car up on the thing, I can do it for just 100 bucks more instead of 500 bucks that I usually do it for. So instead of paying 500 bucks today, you pay me 600 bucks today. You say, yeah, that sounds like a fantastic deal. You're solving two problems, and I'm saving some money at the same time. This method of running a business is how you add value to your potential customers without uh, sounding like a jerk, without trying to be sleazy and salesy and, and things that we don't want to be, but continuing to provide more value for them and get more money out of it so you can operate the business more effectively. How does this work in a funnel? So... If we look at what I have here, this is a standard, just you know, run of the mill kind of funnel. We have our traffic, which is that YouTube button up at the top. That goes to a sales page. Now if you're using an application funnel, uh, which we've been talking about on the rest of the channel, application funnel, someone applies to work with you, you say, hey, awesome, let's get on the phone, you talk on the phone, and then you show them the sales page, they buy something, then you move to a thank you page. So the sales page just tells them what the offer is, what the features, advantages, and benefits are. And then the order form is where they put in their information and their credit card. And then the thank you page is, hey, here's the resource, here's the course that you bought, here's a schedule so we can get your first session going, those kinds of things. Now here, let's say we're using YouTube traffic to drive to the sales page. It could just be as easy as the application page or uh, the one-on-one -on -one consultation you're having to the sales page. But you get 100 people to head to the sales page. Out of those 100 people, five people say, yeah, I want the $1,000 training that you have. And you say, cool. All right, so we make $5,000. We get five new clients. No big deal. Here's what the mechanic did and what you should be doing in your business. You want to find the next problem that they're going to have. So if your training solves reactivity, their next problem might be, now that I've solved the reactivity, I want to do sports with my dog. So you could say, hey, if you buy it now, knowing that in a month or two you're going to be ready for this step, we'll save you some money because we know we're going to put you on the calendar and blah, blah, blah. So this is what it looks like. This is what happens. All we do is we move the thank you page over here, and you add in an upsell page. Now, let's say the upsell page is for an offer that's 500 bucks. And statistically, we know that this first page, this sales page, might convert at 5%. Out of 100 people, 5 people say yes. But the upsell page actually converts at a higher percentage. This is because when we buy something as human beings, especially when we tell ourselves we're not going to buy something, right? You go to the store, you say, I'm not going to buy anything, I'm only getting what I need. That never happens. The reason is... The second you buy something, you justify the first purchase with a second purchase, right? Oh, I'm already here. I might as well get the thing. Or you're waiting in line at the supermarket and they have the pack of gum and you're like, yeah, my breath, my breath smells. Only because you saw the gum and now you're thinking about your breath and you're nervous about talking to the cashier a woman and you're like, ah, no, like my breath is going to smell. Let me get a pack of gum. Anyway, so sales page, 5%. Then we move to 20%, and it's a $500 offer, which means if we run this through our fancy simulation here, I love this software. We run this through this fancy simulation, we get one person all the way at the end, okay? And if they say no, that's okay. They can also go to the thank you page. So actually, we get five people at the end, and one person said yes to the upsell. That means over here on the right, we have an average order value, okay, AOV, average order value, of $1,100. If we just remove this page and we go back to the way it was, we lose out on $100, okay? What does this mean? The higher number of the average order value you can get means the more money you make per customer that comes into your business, the more money you could spend on ads, let's say it cost you $100 a month on ads, and all you did was add this upsell, you could spend $100 on ad and walk away 
not having lost anything, right? You didn't have to spend $900, or you didn't get $900, you still got your $1,000, and you were able to pay for ads. That's the beauty of this upsell. But the real beauty is actually in adding more value. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to talk about uh, unboxing funnels, which is where you take a main offer and you space it out over uh, multiple upsells. But what's beautiful here, and what I think you should start doing first, if you have a funnel that works, an offer that works, and you want to test out a new one, you are exceptionally gifted at training uh, puppies. Well, the next problem someone's going to run into is when their dog hits 16, 18, 20 months old, and they have run through adolescence, and their dog's testing all of these boundaries. Well, you set them up for success and say, hey, here's a course that's 250 bucks. If you buy it now, uh, or here's a course that's 500 bucks. If you buy it now, it's only 250 and it teaches you how to have longevity and success with your dog throughout their life and the different stages that you're going to run into. But your first training was for puppies. So you do a thousand dollar puppy training and then here's a course to help you uh, long term and you get additional support and whatnot. You want to find something that you can add in and work with and solve more problems for your potential clients. It makes it easier once they get the sale or once they make the sale. You may say, hey, I want what you have. I love what you offer. I'm ready to do it. Here's my card. Hey, while you're while, while we're processing your card, do you want to add this to your order? They say, sure. Boom, there you go. All you did was ask, and you made an extra 100 bucks. If you don't ask, you're not going to make the extra 100 bucks. If you do ask, you could make an extra 100 bucks. You could, you know, essentially continue to grow your business without having to necessarily do more work. All you did was ask a second time, do you want to add this to your order? Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode where we break down you know, building these out into a long form and creating more value. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.